Now just shut up and sit still. All right. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> All through the captivating, colorful pages of Zoo Books, the publication is specially created. Get connected. Here's how to order. Call one eight hundred. Now this is an is an example of sponsor interference, which is so beyond logic and which is so beyond taste. This I rebel against. Alright, welcome back to another episode of Casual Friday. We're here for a new game to the channel. It's called FTL, or Faster Than Light. This is like the um, special edition or whatever. I got it off of Steam. Um, I used to have this for mobile back in the day, a while ago, and I remember that this game was really, really fun. It's like a, one of those randomly procedurally generated type things where you're a spaceship going through space and you get all these different choices. You gotta command your ship, command the people inside of it. Um, you go exploring, go on battles. It's kind of like Star Trek, Star Wars type of thing. Um, we're just gonna start with normal mode. On this, we're playing on Casual Friday. Um, so yeah, we're just starting with the. I haven't played on this yet at all, so this is just like the very first playthrough. I'll keep it standard for now. Data you carry is vital to the remaining Federation fleet. You will need supplies for the journey, so make sure to explore each sector <clears throat> before moving on to the next. But get to the exit before the pursuing rebel fleet can catch up. Tip beams. Beam weapons do damage based on the number of rooms they hit. Each shield bubble will block one damage of a beam. Huh. It's best to use beams when the enemy shields you down. Okay. Good tips. So we've got Steven, Alex, Jax. Um, oh, they actually have Hopkins. So I can like select them with one, two, three, like that. Nice. So, let's see, we've got our power systems here. Let's go ahead and power up our weapons so in case we do get into anything. And uh, use that. We don't need power in the bed bay right now, so I'll just turn it on. And, uh, yeah. We can add some modifier key. So that's cool. Well, that has a left control plus a. Oh, you can just... Okay, cool. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and jump to our first location. Uh, we had a store here, but... I feel like we should probably try to make as many stops as possible. As long as we have the gas, we've got 16. Fuel, so like one, two. We can definitely get to the exit, get to the store, and hopefully buy more. So let's start here. Scanners indicate that a battle is taking place nearby. It seems that someone is under attack by space pirates. Let's aid the civilians. You power up your weapons and engage the pirate ship. All right, it's time to fight. <coughs> So this is like a turn-based thing where you can pause it, a very strategic type of game. We're going to go after the shields, like right away. And, uh, get the 
laser on it. Let's hold back for a second. Let's wait until it hits. There we go. There we go. Now they can't do anything. If you attack their shields. Go, damn. <laughs> Took him out so fast. I wasted two missiles. Oh, but I got two back. Okay. I got a robot and some scrap. The ship you save is badly damaged in battle. Most of the crew accepts your offer to be dropped off at the nearby station. One offers to join your crew. To ten. Welcome aboard. But an alien crew member. Nice. To ten. Four, and I can send so many shields. Nice. <coughs> well, that was a uh, successful first start. Let's go ahead and jump to the next. Nearby planet shows signs of habitation of great beauty. A rudimentary automated planetary defense system is looping its message into the space. Warning quarantine level 5 in effect under FHA Act 22, Article 11.2. Warning quarantine level 5. Okay, um, well, I guess we're not fucking going to that planet, are we? Gonna go up here to this spot first. Rebel ship approaches cautiously, personally, says the captain. I'd have stuck with the Federation, but I'm a soldier, sir. And I'm no use without a war to fight. Raise your shields. Oh, shit. Okay. Well, we've got a robot this time to help us. Um, I'm gonna try to fight him without using my missiles, because I want to save those, actually. Uh, let's go after his shields first, naturally. Oh, is that his bot? On my ship? That's right, I think you have to actually send them out. Um, fuck, easy to open all doors. Yeah, no. I don't think I can launch bots yet. I just don't know how. I think you need to have like an actual drone weapon for that. I thought I had this on auto fire, damn it. All he has is like a bot to try to attack me. Want to surrender. Um, I think if we kill them, we'll get more scrap, but if we take their offer, we'll get more missiles in a bot. So I want the missiles. Could I just attack him again? Would be messed up, right? <laughs> Alright, let's go. See, yeah, this thing pushes you along. Alright, now I'm gonna go to the store. So only one other ship is beacon and it is showing heavy damage. You receive a message on your console. Greetings, traveler. We were crippled by a band of pirates and are now forced to sell our remaining valuable equipment to acquire necessary supplies to get home. Hmm. That'd be cool to have. Ooh. That'd be nice to have. Let's fix my haul real quick. I don't really have any 
in the cell besides fuel. Oh, I don't. I don't think I can even sell that stuff. How much scrap do I even have? Oh, it's up there. Okay. We'll buy some fuel. We'll buy some of these. We want to be prepared. <clears throat> there we go. We're set now. Hopefully the next location will have some scrap for us. Mining base on a planet nearby. It's been abandoned. There's no life signs detected. Okay, yeah, sometimes it's there's just a big nothing burger. Ooh, interesting. So yeah, you can make because it's like a fleet, they're like chasing you. You can actually go to these locations and cause it to go slower and you have more time. If they catch up with you, you have to fight like a lot of people. An automated rebel scout stationed at the beacon using the attack. Oh shit, okay. Oh, I forgot about this. The fucking power storms take your... The nebulas take your power like way down, like cuts in half. Turn that down. Shit. Alright. This is what we got to work with. It's just a drone, so it shouldn't be that big of a deal. Oh, they're fucking hitting me. Because the damn, that's the other thing, the power storm takes out your shields. Oh shit, I shot the Artemis. That's my missiles. Fuck. Alright. Taking out its robot. We'll stop hitting fucker. Damn you! Come on, laser. My oxygen's off. Alright, we're getting close here. I'm about to end this. Bunch of scrap, a couple missiles, some fuel. We took some hits though, alright, we're turning that oxygen back on. Damn, that kinda sucked. It took like three hits of damage. Uh -uh. Maybe I should heal. Is it damage? What's going on in here? It is damage. Alright, so yeah. Um, I can actually... I want you in here too. Why don't you go? get multiple people to fix things. I need to get used to these controls. I want to use left click every time, and it messes me up. 
Alright, let's fire up our shields. Let's jump. <clears throat> You know what, I wonder, can I upgrade myself at all? I don't have enough scrap. Alright. Just jump. What do you think? Should I just go, should I go here and make it slow down more? Or should I just start doing that? I don't like how I like. I don't have any power. Can't fight. Come across an asteroid mining colony. The message message you immediately saying greetings. Our supplies of mining explosives have run out ever since the rebels blockaded this system. Do you have any extra explosives? <laughs> Launching a military grade weapon into our minds isn't exactly what I would call union friendly. <laughs> Alright, uh. Room 5. Yay, they upgraded my reactor. That's actually what I wanted. So I can power up everything. Super ready when the battle comes. Let's have a big charge up. Oh, there's a little stress beacon. Let's go to that first. You've encountered a refugee ship drifting in space. It looks as if it was fleeing the rebel advance and ran out of fuel. Its distress beacon is active, but you're not sure anyone is on board. Its communications seem to be down. Let's board and investigate. This ship is completely abandoned. There's no trace of the crew or any cargo. Mystified, you leave the ghost ship and continue on. Huh. Crazy. Alright, let's go... We'll go here first. And then we can move there and maybe... It some of these and then into the exit. You want to maximize your chances of fighting and getting scrap. You detect an automated rebel scout. It's attacking a small refueling outpost. Alright, let's defend the outpost. So, I'm going to do... Take that shit out first, right away. Again, I'm going to try to not use my missiles. Basically, purple you can take him out, no problem. Say goodbye. One more hit. One fuel, one missile, eight scrap. Hails you after the scout was destroyed. Thanks for the help. We've been harassed non-stop by those scouts. Take this on the house. Nice. They gave us two more fuel, a bot, and 18 scrap. Great shit. Um, if you upgrade this, it not only increases like your FTL drive, it just increases like your dexterity, like your evasion possibilities of not getting hit at all. But I think I want to upgrade the shields. That's definitely what I want to do first. Oh shit, I forgot about that. Yeah, the shields, they only... They, they come in like levels, so you have to have like two upgrades to even power it up one more. Watch this. It's not going to let me. Yeah, you gotta have... Oh, 
person. Just under the amount that I need to buy another one. Oh well. Maybe there's something at the next spot. This is an automated message. Resisting our takeover is pointless. Prepare to die. It appears this rebel ship is run by an AI. Whoa. The ship starts to power up its FTL drive. If it gets away, it will no doubt warn the fleet of your position. Okay. So let's take out its ships like, right away. Hopefully I can hit this fucker before it leaves. It's charging! It's charging! Got him. Oh my god, he's hitting me with missiles! The ship breaks apart and you feel relief in the knowledge that you will hopefully still be one step ahead of the food. Yeah, hopefully. I got enough scrap that I can create my shields in here. Okay. Oh, you know what? I think I will keep him in there. Um, you can have it so the shields will like recharge faster, but if he's in here and we get boarded. I'll just switch him over. If he's in there and we get boarded, I can lock the doors, I'm pretty sure. Or I might need to upgrade for that ability. Okay. Yeah, I think I better just go to the exit beacon. If I go one more spot, I think I'm going to have to fight them trying to get out. We've arrived at the long range beacon. The FTL drive is charged, so jump to the next site. Scanners are showing intelligent life forms on a nearby planet. No match for them can be found in the beta base. You land on a small shuttle in an enormous field whose only occupants are small, brightly colored, six legged horse like animals. Did they view what your scans picked up? Bring some of the creatures on board to sell. Try to communicate peacefully. Damn, I am really broke and I desperately need to repair my hull, so I'm thinking about trying to sell them. They <laughs> quickly turn violent when you reveal your hostile intentions. The well organized stampede forces you to draw weapons and make a rush. Shambolic retreat into the shadow. Crap. If I was nice to them, they might have given me something. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, oh well. So let's see here. Steven, go to Med Bay. Alex, go to Med Bay. Everybody's healed up. To get more power in the reactor. <clears throat> Alright, let's jump to the next sector. Yeah. See, if I had gone there and then here, it would have been a fight getting out. Rebel control and energy control. So, yeah, you can pick like hostile sectors and nicer sectors. Let's go. <laughs> let's go here first. I've feeling vulnerable. I want to go just collect stuff and see cool things. <clears throat> we have arrived in NG space. The Mantis have been threatening the NG Coral Worlds. But you should be able to stock up for your journey. God, sorry. I have like indigestion right now. <clears throat> so... Jump over here, I guess. We got a distress beacon. Go investigate. A ship without life forms within a nearby dense asteroid field is giving off the distress call. Shall we investigate? It can be dangerous. Search for the ship. 
fight a pirate ship damaged and abandoned. You salvage what you can and move on. Nice, we got a good amount of scrap from that. Let's see. Let's upgrade the reactor one more time. I'm gonna need to get this upgrade because right now I can't lock my doors and if I get raided it's gonna be a pain in the ass. I'll start losing crew members really easily. Uh, right, let's go. Here I guess. Find a rebel automated scout floating near this beacon. Despite its pristine condition, it appears to be deactivated. Attempt to download the ship's data stores, or don't risk activating it and just strip it from any useful scrap. I feel like this might be more useful. <sighs> I accidentally reactivated the ship's AI, and its weapons immediately go on alarm. Now I have to fight him. Okay. Let's power this down one. Let's get full power to the shields. Power that up and go after. Let's just go after his shields first and hopefully I can take them out like really fast. Fuck, he's got missiles! I hope that next missile doesn't hit me. Please don't fucking hit me. Damn it! <laughs> Alright. Son of a bitch. Going down. Yes, I'm going to fix that. Okay, we got more out of that though. We would have only gotten 11 scrap from salvaging. Now we got fuel, a couple of missiles. <clears throat> we only got hit once. <laughs> Maybe I should upgrade that first because. Man, it sucks. <coughs> Not being able to dodge anything. Here we go. We'll be able to move a little bit faster when we jump. Stress peak. Let's go over here first, then we'll check out the stress peak. A pirate advances on your position. They are fusing all hails. Prepared fight. Okay. Let's go ahead and target your shields, of course. Get that out of the way. Hit them again. I might need to try harder with these guys. We're gonna send a missile to their weapons room. And weapons are out. Just keep working on the shields. <laughs> you got a frantic message. Take everything we have, just don't kill us. Pirates. Hmm. I think I'd rather have more scrap. These assholes attacked us and didn't listen to any of our handles, so why should we listen to them? Goodbye. Goodbye. Lots of scrap. We still, we still got missiles on a bot. We got seven bots now. We need to find a place to buy some. 
<clears throat> okay. I'm one piece of scrap away from having it. Let's jump to the distress beacon. Let's see what this is about. We used our last FTL fuel to jump to this station. We indicate a burnout husk of debris and warped metal. As you can see, the war must have spread to this sector. We've been stranded ever since. Give him some fuel. Thank the gods! We can finally get out of here. We're jumping straight home, so take this extra weapon. We won't need it. Hopefully. Nice! We got a better burst laser. It's a Mark III. And it only requires. Oh, wait, no, it only requires fucking four power to use it. <laughs> okay, well. Oh shit. I turned on the wrong thing. Anyway, I'm gonna open these up. This is a trick, by the way. Because most of the time when you get boarded, they board you in through the airports. So if you just leave those completely devoid of air, they take a little bit of damage on the way in, especially if you are able to lock down all the doors. So, I know that that's going to be coming up later. Um, maybe not in this sector, but probably in the next sector I might get raided. <clears throat> when I get into the difficult territories, that's when it's going to be a problem. But I'm going to have to get all the way around here. This is where you could have a lot of trouble. Sometimes you'd think you'd be able to jump there from there, but you can't. There's no way. So if this was right on my ass, I'd be screwed. You don't want to milk it too much, you know? We did not fight a war to let a single Federation ship shatter our dreams in a better galaxy. He locks weapons. Continue. Prepare to fight. Shields. Okay, we're, we're faster, we have stronger shields. Hopefully, we should be able to avoid damage. Keep working on those shields. Man, I wish this thing would charge faster. God, I missed. Well, we gotta not miss any of those bursts. Nice. We're hitting them. They're stuck in there repairing that. Dang it. It's fun. I gotta get one I gotta get more than one hit, you know, in a row. Come on. These things for his weapons. He'll blow up his battery. The whole ship will go up in flames. Very nice. Lots of scrap. Now we can lock down the ship if we need to. <laughs> oh man, I'm one away from having better evasions here. Okay. to jump off but a mantis scout jumps in behind you. They're surprised as you are but their weapons are already online. Holy shit! Um, God damn it, I knew this was coming. Alright. I'm sending both you guys in there to fight him. 
He's gonna try to kill my fucking pilot. While they're doing that, what should I attack? Attack the engines. Hopefully I can make some more hits on them. Oh my god, mantises are strong. Forgot about that, those guys are like really good fighters. this now. He wants to play games. You can play games. He thinks he's gonna escape. Oh, I'm stupid. Oh, he broke those already. Shit. Okay, now he's over. He left, finally. Piece of crap. Damn it. How do I repair that room without suffering? That's the, that's the room that controls the doors. I can't believe I let him do that, because I was sitting there like watching him, and I thought the room was going to go... But I needed to open up that door. Ugh! Fuckers, man. I'm trying just a little bit at a time, I guess. Hold your breath. And heal each other afterwards. Still not fixed. Hold your breath, man. Fix that door. Fix those doors. Oh god. Oh my god. Sucks. <laughs> this fucking sucks. What do I do? Close all the doors. Oh, I can. Okay. I guess it's fixed enough. Shit. Well, let's get all you guys in here. Oh, okay. I guess that takes a bit. Spot. Let's not turn off the oxygen. <clears throat> that sucked, man. to normal, basically. <laughs> I can't upgrade my weapon system sometime. Let's see, 
I do that and that. Yeah, I can't have it. I should be able to. Oh, you have to actually physically power that down. There you go. There we go. Now I have the burst laser three ready. Just enough power so that I can turn on shields when I move into a new location. Alright. Let's see, let's go ahead and finish fixing this though. And then that should give me back um, the ability to lock the doors. Now that they're upgraded. There we go. Now I have some blast doors. Oh, yep. Yeah. Now I have blast doors. There's gotta be somebody in the room controlling it. Alright, I'm prepared for the next time one of those freaking. It's those bugs, those giant mantises. They like to teleport inside your ship and then attack you. Let's go to the store. And I don't have any scrap. The scrap ours our weapons for you. You're about to raise the shields when you realize it's just an NG trader looking for trade. Oh, he just doesn't speak normally. So let's go ahead and sell this because I don't need any more. Drag equipment into this box to sell it. There we go. My cloaking. I wish I could sell my bombs. Let's go ahead and fix our hull. And let's go buy more fuel. Make sure we have enough. And we'll jump over to the next store. happen upon the remains of a space station it is mostly pick clean but there appears to be a few materials that will aid in the mission. Nice, that's a good amount of scrap. There we go. Now I've got better evasion. Let's go over and check out this store. They're about on my ass. The NG can do remarkable things with just a pile of scrap. The NG Hive and this beacon are selling equipment for just that. Okay. Dang, it's just so much stuff that I can't buy. Scrap recovery arm. Hmm. I'm thinking about I might just sell this because I'm probably gonna get a better missile later. It's only gonna give me 19 though, it's not that much. I can't really buy anything. Lame. Whatever. Right, we gotta get out of this sector before we get onto this. A friendly programmer gives you the schematics for a drone. Nice. With a boarding drone and some scrap. So does that mean that we can... Okay.
Yeah, I don't have the drone system yet. That's the thing, I need to get that to use it. You recognize the ship as a well-known slave trader. He hails you and offers you laborers for cheap. be nice if I could free him with some scrap. I'll just attack him instead. <coughs> Alright, let's see here. Let's, uh, let's bring our shields up, most importantly. Let's, let's try out this new burst laser. This thing looks like it's going to wreck havoc. <laughs> He's like, oh fuck, we gotta get out of here. We can't get hit with that again. <laughs> You're not going anywhere. No! Oh. Maybe that's a reason to take out their engines first. It's hard to decide which one to aim at first. Alright. Yeah, just in the nick of time, we're gonna get out of this sector. Sensors indicate it's a storage vessel for military needs. It's an automated rebel ship. Let's attack it and get whatever it has. Charging. No. Snuck in a hit. Salvage. The station was either abandoned or stripped clean. It seems to have lain unused for quite some time. We find nothing useful. Great. I think it'd be nice to have that powered up at this one more. Let's go to the next sector. Check out the Uncharted Nebula. Thanks to the high nebula density of this sector, very little of it has been charted. And rumors of what lurks in the depths abound. Okay. There's a couple distress beacons, a storm. Ah, shit. Let's get the storm first. The center of a hydrogen cloud doesn't seem like a very usual place for a storm, but the NG aren't a usual species. It wouldn't hurt to take a look. FTL Jammer, FTL Recharge Booster. Drone Control, which I would love to have. But I just can't. Just I'll fix myself and buy air fuel. You're prepared. Let's move on this way. 
spot a rebel ship in the nebula ahead and stay off the radar. Try to engage. Let's chase them. Follow their vapor trails and surf into their six o'clock weapons hot. Alright. Let's fucking do this. They've got double shields. Okay. It's a good thing I got that burst laser. I hit him five times with it. Oh, they have an actual laser. Crap. Things are getting tougher. Oh no! Oh my god, okay, escape. Holy shit. Holy shit, pause, what's happening? Okay, my engines are damaged. Now I'm just adrift. I need to keep hitting their. Uh... I hit their shields again, I guess. <clears throat> Hopefully that fire goes out soon. Uh, we need to get there. You stay there. This sucks. I'm gonna have to get you over there so we can fix that fucking thing. Right. Hopefully, this is peeking there real quick. Do I not have control over the doors? Okay, wait. Um, shit. Turn that up. He's not even, he's over here standing here, he's not even getting healed, I just noticed that. Ugh. These guys are messing me up, man. Shouldn't have attacked them, maybe. <laughs> Keep you there. Just keep you there. We just gotta keep attacking. It's powering up a bit. FTL. Okay. Hopefully, I can get a hit in. It's freaking engine. No! They escaped! Bastards! Ugh. Well... We did okay. You have encountered a refugee ship drifting in space. It looks as if it was fleeing the rebel advance and ran out of fuel. This distress beacon is active, but you're not sure anyone is on board and its communications seem to be down. Let's investigate. The ship ran out of fuel. The crew ran out of food not long after. Despite the grisly scene that remains, you find one surviving crewman locked in the freezer. Almost perfectly preserved and apparently overlooked by the starving crew. Huh. The Zabder. Oh, you know what? I forgot. They all have strengths, don't they? I guess it just depends on what we want to keep them in. But when you get new ones, they do have strengths. And this one's just like really good at repairing, which is great. Some shields. So we got a new crew. Oh, I can save the positions with that. And then I can, if I need to, I can send them back to their saved spots by hitting the turn. 
Nice. Didn't know about that. <clears throat> Got a new crew member, that's nice. Here. Let's go check out this distress beak. It's a good chance it could be something good. You find a number of ships fleeing from a small space station. You hail them, asking what's wrong. Help! We're being overrun by some sort of giant alien spiders. Whoa. Send the crew to help? Giant alien spiders are no joke. Oh no. Your crew boards the station, cautiously moving between corridors. Suddenly a man-sized arachnid bursts from the vent and ceiling, followed by countless more. You fight your way back to the airlock and are forced to leave before accounting for all crew members. Not everybody made it back. Steven is gone. No! Damn it, I lost my pilot. Ah, oh, fuck. Anybody have any piloting skills? No. Great. Here, I feel like, uh... Xander, the new captain. <laughs> Oh god. <coughs> I can blow my nose real quick. Alright, I'm back. Let's go here. There's nothing here. There's another store I can go to that'll probably have nothing for me. Because I don't have anything. Alright. Fix my ship a little bit. Get out of here. Jump into a sector of the nebula beset by a plasma storm. An automated rebel scout station at the beacon moves into attack. Tower, right? Despite your advanced engines, you're unable to shake them. Despite Shit. It's a fucking ion storm in this area. Oh, great. Fucking wonderful. <laughs> fucking wonderful. I can't even... I can't even have shields. Well, I can. I'll just use my bombs on them, I guess. not use any more bombs. Let's fucking get this bitch. Laser. I think there's a fire in there.
do that. Send him over there and I don't have power in that room. Let's go here. Let's get a little bit more distance between us. Um, heavily damaged Federation ship is hiding in the nebula at this beacon. Before you have time to make contact with them, they fade into the nebula. Attempt to follow and help them. Keep your position and control yourselves. Attempt to follow and help them. While searching fruitlessly through the nebula, you stumble upon a rebel ship, which the Federation loyalists would likely hiding from. You prepare for a fight. Okay. Well, at least we have all of our power this time. Let's turn off the oxygen for just a little bit so we can fight with full power. It's not in the shield, it's just like that. <clears throat> he only has one shield. Okay, now we're gonna get their engines so they can't get away. So I was trying to do that. Hey, you have clearly bested us. We merely request our lives. Accept their offer. You will not accept surrender. I want more scrap. We're about dead anyway. I already had them dead. <coughs> nice. I, I think I'm going to start saving scrap so that I can actually buy some like better weapons and stuff when I get to the next uh, shop. It would be nice to upgrade power one more time and I'll leave it alone after that so we can uh, charge everything up. Alright. Let's go here first. Pirate ship arrives shortly after you. Judging from the fact that it is attempting to award your ship, you assume that it's a smuggler trying to stay away from beacons. Let's attack them, see what they have. Let's try to get some stuff, man. I feel like I have nothing. Like, I need to make up some slack, man. Let's take up your shields. Buckles are doing the exact same shit to me. Okay, we're off to get our weapons. Can't get hit with bombs anymore. Come on. Oh my god, another one. They keep hitting me. I can't escape it. Alright, there we go. Knocking them down a little bit. Just keep hitting their fucking weapons. Ugh. They're trying to escape. Oh. 
hit their freaking engines one time. We realize our ship is no match for yours. If you let us go, we can make it worth your while. Oh. Ah, and they missed with their final shot. You guys are done. Oh no, they god damn it, they Ah Fuck you with your rockets! That's why you, that's why I want you dead. You want you launch so many rockets at me. That's what they were hiding. That's what was so precious to them. They got breach missiles. Which sounds awesome. And a bunch of scrap. Pair that. So requires three power. My God. Okay. Here. It's an automated Rebel Scout. It's powering up its FTL drive. It's trying to get away already. Actually, have a fucking laser. Oh my god, they. Oh my god, they just disabled my fucking weapon systems. They're gonna get away. Damn it. Fucking bitches. Fuckers! Damn it. <laughs> the fleet pursuit's been doubled. Oh, the timing on that. They, the timing of them hitting my fucking weapon systems was so perfect, man. Damn it. Okay, I might as well heal some people. Okay, that's the wrong guy. My hole is really hurt, man. <laughs> Fucking attack him. Let's attack him. Why not? Those freaking weapons taken care of. Hit him in the shields. God, I wish I had more power and more weapons. Those breach missiles are nice. Glad I have them. They fucking do damage. If you let us go, we'll make it worth a while. No, they obviously have something. Oh. He was transporting prisoners. They were all killed. Oh, that's sad. Oops. <laughs> Oops. 
I was hoping they had a nice gun in there I could sell. <clears throat> All right, well, let's jump again. It's time to get out of this freaking regular sector. Let's go. Zoltan Homeworld. Interesting. <coughs> you arrive in Zoltan space. From what you have heard, they anticipated the coming war and made preparations to hold their borders. Let's go immediately to the stress and see what's going on now. The stress beacon is coming from the surfaces of a nearby moon. Your sensors are picking up a single life form. Let's go down and investigate. You find a colony that seems to have been recently attacked. Exploring the devastation, you find a lone survivor. Invite him to join the crew. He states that he was a shield operator before being stranded. He happily offers his services for a time in exchange for getting off that rock. Sweet! We got a new shield guy, which is perfect. Perfect. And he's a... Uh, he's an NG. I'm pretty sure that's what those guys are. And our crew is becoming more diverse. Oh, nice. Okay. The spot out. I'm running out of fuel. A message broadcast from a nearby planet announces the presence of an ancient Zoltan monastery available for visiting. Likely just a tourist trap, but still too bad you don't have the time to visit. <laughs> just a, a long, convoluted way of saying there's nothing here. Let's go here and hopefully I'll be able to see a store nearby. Really needs some fuel. Greeted by a science vessel waiting by the beacon, they hail you. We find ourselves low on fuel and have a proposition. Three fuel for a bot. No, thank you. I'm out to right, check out this distress beacon. Stress signal is coming from a small space station orbiting an uninhabited planet. Their satellite defense system has gone haywire and the repair crew can't approach without being fired on. They're looking for help. Okay, nice. Because we got that NG crew, we picked up Charlie. He can just remotely repair it. Awesome. They gave us fuel, two bombs, and a 50 scrap. It's beautiful. And I almost want to like upgrade my shields more. Be a hundred twenty-five to do that. It'd be like all my scrap. No, no. Okay, I still really need to find a store. Oh shit! It's another fucking mantis ship, and we've got intruders on board. Mantis outcasts sometimes make the mistake of taking the Zoltan for easy game. The scout moves in to attack while boarding party beams aboard from nearby transport. It's so great. First of all, Charlie, we're gonna send you in here, I guess. Turn that on. Close that. And that. And that. And we're gonna suffocate him. Let's see how they like breathing fucking the void. Sitting there in the void, breathing nothing. Oh my god, okay, they went pretty fast though. Shit.
these guys are just gonna... Nice! We totally dodged that missile. Alright, get out of there. We're still suffocating. We're still suffocating. <laughs> nice, okay, they all just died. <laughs> they all just died. <laughs> I suffocated them to death. Some of them might have made it back, I don't know. But, uh... What is it? Does it need to open all doors? There we go. Except that needs to be fixed. Got closed. Let's get you back on shields. Jack's really in my weapons guy. Yeah, yeah. Get you back on the weapons. Alright. Fuck! Fucking guys. We're so close to dead. We're so close to dead. Oh my god, I might have to I might have to jump or they're gonna kill me. Oh my god. Come on, hit him with that. Cripple the weapon. Yes, perfect. Okay. Turn this back on. Targeting their weapons, I guess. Get in there, get your ass in there, get this shit to charge up fast. They're done! They're done! Fuck you guys. Board my ship. Oh, my hull is critical. God damn. That was close. We got him. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna lead with the. Um, I'm gonna lead with that. So I got plenty of missiles, and the breach really helps. to find a shop. There's like no shops in this area at all. Ah, great. It's a fucking another mantis ship and they're gonna teleport. Watch these assholes teleport in here. Teleport in my fucking pilot's nest. Assholes. Void, you frickin' bug. Oh 
Oh my god, we're dead. No! No! One last explosion marks your fate as your ship is torn apart. Man, I think I just got too bloodthirsty. I tried to attack too many people. I should have left them alone. This freaking sector didn't have any shops available for me. I finally had tons of scrap to heal myself and buy things with. Damn. Well. That was a, a good try. First try. I made it halfway across the galaxy. Well, I'll just have to try again and hopefully make it to the end on the next episode. Thank you again for watching. Appreciate you all. Um, I'm probably going to do a lot more of these longer form casual Friday videos. Um, trying to play a lot more of the same games instead of jumping around from a lot of different things all the time. So I'm going to play a few episodes of this. Um, there's a lot of replayability in this game. It's a lot of fun. Um, like I showed when I went to start the game, there's a whole advanced edition thing that I didn't even enable. So that was a uh, a decent show, you know, an introduction into this. What's great about this is, um, yeah, there's different ships that you unlock throughout playing. Um, the ships themselves, they actually have different layouts, too. You can either complete a unique, unique quest within the game world, or beat the game with the previous ship to unlock the next. Very cool. And then there's like different challenges for each ship. Different layouts, it looks like. I can't really show that for some reason. But yeah, anyway. Um, and like I said, it's everything's random, procedurally generated, so... Um, every playthrough is a little bit different. Like, you see the same things, but you don't see them in the same order. And I think once you, in, you turn on the Advanced Edition content, like... There's a lot more random events, so it really feels more unique on each playthrough. But yeah, this is a really, really fun game. I love it a lot. I love the old school look and feel of this, even though it's a 2012 game. Um, yeah, there's a whole genre of new style retro games. Anyway. Yammered on quite enough here, so thank you for watching. I hope I see you next week where I will be attempting to hopefully get through all the way to the end of the galaxy. See you then.